Hey everyone, welcome back. Thanks for joining me. I always appreciate your time and I uh, hope you're comfortable. Hopefully you're sitting in your comfy, comfy chair with your little hot beverage and your snack and you're chilling out. You're taking a deep breath and you say, what does he have to show me today? And I'll tell you <laughs> before if you're lurking, you subscribe. So do that. That's your part. And uh, let's get on to these little cool, original, not reproductions, KO Sparky Robots. That's what I have for you today. Two more Sparky Robots. So I think I've shown you two other ones. That makes four. Anyway, these came uh, available recently. And I said, you know, I just started that Sparky collection. So let's see how far we can push it. And uh, these are pretty cool. So we have the two different litho styles in silver and gold, olive green. What do you call that color? So let's look at this one to begin with. How do I know it's an original? Well, I showed you this before, but on the leg there, it says KO Japan. And also they always look better. You can tell, you know, if this was a shiny Chinese reproduction, trust me, you would know. So anyway, this one, unlike my lithode mask one that's going to the robot hut, this one doesn't seem to need anything. But these, the motors in here are so uh, probably just stale, gunked up, dirty, need a little lube. So um, I'm going to wind them up. And it just takes a while for this to gonna go. Whoa. <laughs> I think that was more my floor than, no. Whoa. I guess it wasn't my floor. What the hell? Wow, what's going on? Is it his, and I thought this wouldn't have to go to the robot. <laughs> oh, God. I'm going to try them again. Let me give him some more wine. Like, you know, like doing the same thing over and over is going to make a difference. Nope. Wow, that is so funny. It's got to be those wheels. Well, his leg looks a little canted inwards. Look at that. Wow. That's disappointing. I mean, you can see he's moving, but the wheels are free. They're not stuck. I think just his leg is loose. The leg is loose. The linkage must be loose. Huh, huh, huh. Shame on you. Well, you know what? I, I don't think I would open them up. This leg here seems a little more solid. It's this one here. Maybe the linkage is bent. Ugh, that's terrible. Hold on, let me, uh... You know, the thing is that I don't really need these all working. Oh, look at them. Look at that. That is so weird. Huh. It's almost like this just happened, believe it or not. Eh. Whatever. Whatevs. <laughs> Whatever. Look at that. I gotta get him at least to stand. Meh. Nah. Nah. I'm not too pleased with that one, and I'm gonna have to let my auctioneer know about that one. Let's let's mosey on to this one. I'm gonna be pissed if uh, this one does the same thing. Are you serious? <laughs> That's it? That's it after that? No wonder the orange R robot is worth so much. At least he actually functions and walks. Wow. I think it's sticking. Let's see. Look at that. Yep. Yeah, that could use a little lubrication for sure. Meh. Anyway, so the thing about these is the, the lithography that's cool. So let's just look at these close up. I wasn't even going to do this video, but I said, you know what? They're kind of cool. So let's look at all the litho. Then I'm going to wrap these bad boys up. I don't think I really care that enough to open them up to do anything to them, to be quite honest with you. I mean, they're working. They're just working a little crappy. So, you know what? I'll live with it like that to keep the integrity of the tin, you know? I mean, if it was like they were doing absolutely nothing, but, I mean, you know, if it's a little slippage for a 
60 year old toy. Anyway, this, this one with the pistons uh, is usually high on everyone's radar. For some reason, these are a little bit less common. So you can tell he's got wires up top. See, he doesn't have anything up there, but he, his lithode gears are kind of cooler, but this one has the pistons and this top part here is lithode. He's got litho on the head where this one's head is like bald like mine. And uh, let's see, rivet details are kind of similar. These lithos on the bottom, like the uh, rivets, I should say. Look and see how they did the uh, shadow, the white, the little shadow effect. These are just circles over here. The legs, this one has uh, rivets. This one doesn't have any rivets. Obviously, they're different, but it's kind of nice to compare them side by side. They both have, well, no, this one has the venting here. This one has the rocket. <laughs> Look at the side of the head, too, the difference. Oh, he has to vent things this way. My thumb is on it. And this one has a gun. Look at that. He's got a ray gun on his leg. I bet you didn't know that. So that's pretty cool. So this one has a little more elaborate lithography. But this one's, the, the uh, olive green one's just kind of cool, though. Look at the backpacks. Kind of similar. He's got like a mesh over here. Got this screening effect. And he's got the white stripe, too, which is kind of neat. I mean, the blue stripe, light blue, I'm sorry. So on his leg, no firearm, but he's got kind of cool stripes. Tell you know, when you look at him, there's a lot of difference. Look, he had a rocket on one arm, and he's got a kind of a star, uh, atom, atom effect on the other one. So they're both very cool. He's got like a whiskey flask over there. He's ready to go home, man, and just like, maybe it's motor oil. I shouldn't say whiskey, right? The whiskey would corrode him. So he's got his little oil pouch in there. He's going to like drink some of that Castrol 2050 or something. Well, no, John told me... Uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, the the uh, three-in-one oil, multi-purpose oil. So I think that covers uh, anything else here. Did I show you the on the leg? This one has his wonky leg. Well, you can't see it, but there's his KO mark in there. Bottom of the feet, we saw that. Bottom of the feet on this. We've got some sticker on it. Uh, but anyway, you know what? They're original. They're cool. They're in very good shape aesthetically. Uh, they don't look like they've been messed with, and uh, sure, they you know, work a little wonky, but keep in mind, these toys were cheap, cheap, cheap when they were new. These were never intended to be like the highline Japanese tin robots. So anyway, you got a look at uh, very cool, interesting, different lithode Sparky robots. Now, this one in the blue is my next... Um, my next uh, mission is to find one of those, and then I think it's blue in this kind of style too, but a little less common than that so anyway i appreciate you guys looking let me know what you think of these weird and wonderful sparkies and uh, don't forget again to subscribe leave a comment thumb up the video and with that appreciate it i will talk to you later